Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another Game of Thrones Sigil video. Today, we're doing a crash course on House Tyrell. Now, do remember that these videos have information from the TV show and some from the books, so if you'd like to avoid spoilers, you may want to turn the video off now. So, before we're summoned to the Great Sept for a trial, let's begin! House Tyrell is one of the great houses of Westeros. It rules over the Reach, a vast, fertile, and heavily populated region of southwestern Westeros, from their castle seat, High Garden. The Tyrell sigil is a golden rose on a pale green field, and their words are growing strong. Lord Luther Tyrell, Lord of High Garden, Lord Paramount of the Reach, and Warden of the South, died in a hawking accident. Lady Elena of House Redwyn. Luther's widow, called the Queen of Thorns, the current head of the family. Lord Mace Tyrell, their son, Lord of Highgarden, Lord Paramount of the Reach, and Warden of the South, the former head of the family, burnt alive by wildfire during the destruction of the Great Sept of Baylor. Lady Allery, his wife of House Hightower. Her status in the show is uncertain as she's never been mentioned as being alive or dead. In the books, she's present in King's Landing with most of the other Tyrells. She leaves with Olenna and Garland. Willis Tyrell, eldest son and heir. He has a crippled leg from his first tournament when he competed against Prince Oberyn Martell of Dorne, who knocked Willis from his horse where his foot caught in his stirrup as he fell. He does not exist in the show, but is renowned in the books for breeding the finest hawks, hounds, and horses in the Seven Kingdoms. He is often noted as studious, educated, and kind. Lord Garland Tyrell, the second son, called Garland the Gallant, married to Lynette Fossaway, titular lord of Brightwater Keep. His personal coat of arms is two golden roses on green to denote his status as the second son. He is similar in appearance to his younger brother Loris, but he is taller, more broadly built, and has a beard. He is an exceptionally skilled swordsman, preferring to train against three or four swordsmen so as to better prepare himself for actual battle, but his lack of interest in gaining glory makes him less famous than Loras. Sir Loras Tyrell, the third son in the books, only son in the show, called the Knight of the Flowers, noted for his youth, valor, and his skill with a lance. He is thirsty for glory and can be short-tempered and impetuous. He squired for Lord Renly Baratheon and grew close to him, and soon became Renly's lover. A brother of the Kingsguard. His personal coat of arms is three golden roses on a field of green, indicating his position as a third son. Burnt alive by wildfire during the destruction of the Great Sept of Baylor. Queen Marjorie Tyrell, the only daughter of Mace and Allery. The young and beautiful widow of Renly Baratheon and Joffrey Baratheon last married to Tommen Baratheon. She is intelligent and shrewd, and takes after her cunning grandmother. She is her grandmother's protege, and as such, Elena has made certain that Marjorie is capable of protecting herself from those who might use or abuse her. Marjorie was burnt alive by wildfire during the destruction of the Great Sept of Baylor. House Tyrell began as a cadet branch of House Gardner, the ancient kings of the Reach. The Tyrells became senior servants of the main gardener line, serving for centuries as castellans of the royal castle at High Garden. Over time, they rose to prominence as one of the strongest noble houses in the Reach, and even intermarried with the royal line, though so did other powerful houses from the Reach. During the Targaryen conquest, King Myrne Gardner was burned alive at the Field of Fire by the Targaryen dragons, along with all of his immediate heirs. Subsequently, Myrne's steward, Harlan Tyrell, voluntarily surrendered Highgarden to Aegon Targaryen. Aegon rewarded Harlan by making him Lord of Highgarden and Lord Paramount of the Reach, ahead of other houses from the Reach which were actually more closely related to House Gardner. House Tyrell's overall disposition is adequately represented by their sigil of a rose. A rose's beauty often hides the fact that it has thorns. Though the Tyrells do try to be just and fair, their benevolent demeanor serves to lull their enemies into thinking that, like the Starks, 
they are utterly beholden to honorable conduct. In reality, they are as cunning as the Lannisters in court politics and intrigue, though they often prefer a more subtle approach. Thus, they strike a pragmatic balance between the Stark's honor and the Lannisters' ruthlessness. And throughout history, House Tyrell has played by the strategy of following the sure path, siding with whoever is most likely to win in any conflict. And that's actually going to be it for House Tyrell. There's only two videos left. A helicopter is flying overhead. Can you not? I'm talking about Game of Thrones here. Anyway, thank you all for watching. If you learned something new or just enjoyed the crash course, give this video a like. Maybe subscribe so you know when there's more. Possibly share it with your friends. Or do none of these things. Up to you. Free will and all that jazz. <laughs> um, at any rate, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strange.